Here's something important. On Amazon, the speed at which your product sells really matters for its ranking. When your sales are strong, your product gets a higher rank. This increases the visibility of your product, allowing more people to discover and buy it. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'll cover what is sales velocity and how to increase your sales velocity on Amazon. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Sales velocity refers to how often your online business makes sales. If you're selling a lot in short time, your sales velocity goes up. This is a crucial measure for your health of your listing, usually counted in sales per month. Now, why does sales velocity matter? It's simple. Faster sales means quick return on your investment. Quick sales lead to better rankings, which means your product shows up higher on the Amazon search engine, bettering your more sales. Now, this cycle continues boosting your sales velocity and shaping your product's life cycle. So let's explore different ways to increase your sales velocity and improve your Amazon conversion rate. First, if you want your sales velocity to shoot up, the trick is to have an appealing product listing. Here's how you can optimize your listing. Use eye-catching images that effectively showcase your product in one glance. Customers want to see exactly what they are getting. All right, let's break it down with an example, like you are selling a cool GoPro. The key here is to make the main image all about the camera, you know. If your GoPro comes in different colors, don't forget to flaunt those in the main product photo too. Customers love options. Now, if your GoPro has specific features like being water resistant or having a certain width and length, eco-friendly packaging, highlight those essential benefits. It's all about giving potential buyers the best glimpse of what your product has to offer. Also add a video to show how exactly it functions. Next is craft a precise and keyword rich title that matches your ad campaigns. Keep it clear and to the point, a title that's not too lengthy but conveys the essential details works best. Provide thorough and descriptive information about the product you are selling. The more quality information you offer, the better it is. Quality means it's complete, updated and accurate. Customers appreciate transparency and detailed descriptions. So if you're looking to boost your conversions and make your listings more discoverable with top-notch professionally crafted copies, we have got your back. The SolarUp team is here to help you out. Just head to the link in the comment section below and we'll take it from there. Second is effective method to use long tail keywords. So these are more specific keywords related to the products you target buyers are searching for. Customers tend to use long tail keywords when they are close to making a purchase decision. They are especially useful if customers are using voice search to find what they want. They have lower search volumes but are laser focused on potential buyers further down to the conversion funnel. By incorporating long tail keywords, you can increase your sales velocity, which in turn improves your product rankings on Amazon. It's a win-win. If you're new to selling on Amazon, long tail keywords are particularly beneficial because they often come with lower cost per click, less competition and a higher buying intent. Now, you might be wondering how to find the most relevant long tail keywords. Fear not. I've got you covered with some helpful tips. Take a look at the search term report from your automatic campaigns. Identify the keywords with, uh, you know, three or more keywords uh, that are generated good sales. Check out Amazon's auto suggest feature. You can often find valuable long tail keywords here too. And if you want to excel your keyword research, try using the seller app Amazon keyword rule. It can help you to discover long tail keywords from a seed keyword. 
Let me show you how. On the Cellular App platform, navigate to the Keyword tool. Under this, we have Keyword Research. It will help you to find the keyword opportunities for your listings. In this, you can enter any keyword. I'm entering running shoes for men. You'll see that the search results will be displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the relevant keywords to the entered keyword. Also, you can find tags against these keywords. So they depict the current trend of these keywords on Amazon. And on the right, we have all the metrics based on which these keywords can be evaluated. Additionally, you can track the keywords where you'll be directed towards the keyword tracking under product intelligence feature. There you can actually analyze them better for a specific period of time. And if they are good to go, then you can also add them to your advertising. Within a few clicks, you can add more relevant keywords to your advertising. You can export the data with this tab and copy paste the most relevant keyword list into a new sheet in your Excel spreadsheet. Next is to utilize reverse ASIN tools like Cellwrap to find long tail keywords with good search volume and relevance from competitors listings. Now in the reverse ASIN tool, you can compare your ASIN with your competitors ASIN. I've added two ASINs and now click on compare. So the best part about this tool is at a time you can compare your ASIN with three other competitors ASINs. You'll see that the search results are already displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the keywords which are present in your ASIN as well as your competitors ASIN. And on the right, we can see the metrics used to evaluate the keywords. Now this is your ASIN and this is your competitors ASIN. If you consider this example, the search term has good estimated orders per month and good conversion rate, but it's present in your competitor's ASIN and not in your ASIN. Now this can be that keyword which is helping them to rank at the top of the Amazon search. You can directly add them to advertising or if you want, you can track the keywords where you'll be directed towards the keyword tracking under product intelligence feature. There, you can analyze them for, you know, a specific period of time and if they are worth it, then you can add them to your advertising. So this is how convenient this tool is to use. Within a few clicks, you can understand the keyword strategies your competitors are using and accordingly use them into your ads. So in this way, you can use all the long tail keywords to improve your sales velocity. Third is moving high performing keywords from auto to manual campaigns. It's a smart move that gives you more control over your ad targeting and can lead to better sales. So here's how you can do it. First, head over to your seller central and download the search term report. Take a good look at the report to find those search terms in your automatic campaign that have great CTR and conversion rate. Once you spot these gems, move them from automatic targeting type campaigns to manual targeting type campaigns. Now this way you'll be able to fine tune your ad strategy and totally optimize your results. Don't forget to add these high performing search terms as negative keywords in your automatic campaign. This ensures you won't have duplicate ads running, saving you some precious ad spending. Now doing this manually can be a bit time consuming, but guess what? I've got a time saving solution for you. The Seller App Advertising Insights tool can make this process 100 times easier. Just log in to Seller App Dashboard, go to the Advertising section and then click on the Insights and Auto to Manual. There you'll find all the search terms in your automatic campaigns that are doing great. Identify the ones with high conversion rates and move them to manual campaigns. The best part? Seller app will automatically add them as negative keywords to avoid the duplicates. It's that simple. By regularly repeating this process, you'll build an army of high converting keywords in your manual campaigns. Not only will it save you money on ad spending, but it will also help you increase your sales velocity. Next up is improve keyword targeting. This one is all about reaching the right audience and reducing your overall ad costs. Let's say you're selling blue jeans for women on Amazon. 
Now you notice that broad match type keyword blue jeans has a high CTR in your campaign, but the conversion rate is not as impressive. No worries, you can switch that keyword from broad match type to phrase match type in your campaign. By doing this, you will target a more specific audience that is more likely to buy your product. And guess what? Better targeting often leads to a higher click-through rate and boosts your conversion rate. Sounds complicated? It's not. Just log into your Seller App dashboard, go to the Advertising, then Insights, and click on Target Improvement tab. There, you'll find all the keywords with great performance. Simply select the ones you want to adjust, choose the campaign and ad group, and move the keyword from broad to phrase or phrase to exact. Easy peasy. Fifth, utilize negative keywords. Now, negative keywords are a powerful tool that allows you to exclude irrelevant traffic and focus on the right audience. Now, this can really amp up your sales velocity. Here's how to do it. Take a good look at the search term report from your campaigns. You want to identify the search terms that might have good impressions but low CTR and zero sales or those with high ad spend but no sales or even high clicks but zero sales. Now, these are the ones you want to add as negative targeting in your campaigns. But doing this, you will reduce irrelevant ad clicks and save on unnecessary spending. Now, if you don't want to do this manually, no worries. Let Seller App handle it for you. Just go to your Seller App dashboard, click on the Advertising tab and then Insights and choose these uh, negative search terms. There you'll find all the underperforming search terms in your campaigns. Simply click on Mark Negative to add them as negatives for your campaigns. Simple, right? Remember to revisit your negative match types every one to three months to stay up to date with the changes in the search patterns. Sixth is create an omni-channel sales funnel. Another strategy to boost uh, the conversion rates is to funnel sales from other channels such as Facebook or Instagram to a landing page which then leads uh, people to your Amazon listing. So this allows buyer to fully get to know your products before visiting your listing to make a purchase. If they like what they see on your landing page and go through to your listing, they are quite likely to convert. It takes a bit more effort, but it is a method of attracting high intent consumers. Seventh is create a high engaging storefront. Now your product page is like an online storefront and just like a physical store, a well-designed and visually appealing product page can make a world of difference. Imagine walking into a store with dull colors and a boring layout. You probably wouldn't be too excited to explore what they have to offer. The same applies to your product page. A beautifully designed and captivating product page can lead to higher click-through rates and directly impact your sales and overall business. Now, when customers see your engaging storefront, they are more likely to click on your ads. And that's not all. A good design can create a positive cycle, attracting more sales velocity over time. Plus, customers are more likely to engage with the visually pleasing storefront, which can lead to positive reviews, which we'll see in the next strategy. Eighth is leverage positive reviews. Now, online reviews are a powerful way when it comes to build trust with potential buyers. Research shows that 84% of shoppers trust online reviews just as much as personal recommendations and 91% read reviews regularly or occasionally. Now, why are reviews so essential? They create trust and transparency in the shopping experience. Positive reviews can significantly influence a buyer's decision, especially when they are unfamiliar with a product or a brand. Now, they provide the much needed social proof that assures customers they are making a good choice. They not only impact your brand reputation, but also directly affects your sales. So positive reviews can be the tipping point that converts a customer or makes them feel confident in choosing your brand. Not only are reviews critical to customers, but they are also crucial to your Amazon business as a whole. The number of positive reviews you receive can influence your Amazon SEO as they are factored into the Amazon search results. Ninth is 
get Amazon badges. Just like people who win trophies get more attention, sellers who earn one of the Amazon's prestigious badges get noticed too. These badges are symbols of excellence that Amazon places on product pages and ads. They indicate a seller or brand's quality products, outstanding service, or exceptional sales performance. When your Amazon ad features a product with a badge, it's more likely to generate higher sales velocity. Amazon offers different types of badges and each one holds its own significance. Number one, best seller badge. Now this badge is based on the product sales and gets updated early. It's a highly coveted yet challenging to obtain. So it's a symbol of remarkable success. Next is Amazon's choice. It's awarded to fulfillment by Amazon sellers who offer uh, high quality products and have relevant keywords set for their Amazon ads. This badge signals that Amazon itself recommends the product. Next is new release. This badge is for products that experience high sales velocity during their first 90 days of being listed. It's a way to highlight newly popular items. Having these badges on your product page or ad can add a layer of credibility and trust for potential customers. It's like a seal of approval from Amazon itself. Next is optimize your price. Now price plays a crucial role in driving sales. Sure, you might have set a competitive price, but it's also essential to make it enticing enough for people to click on your listing. Small changes in pricing can have a significant impact. Your sales can vary greatly between ending the price in $5.95 and $5.99, or between $59.99 and $60.99. Even a few cents can make all the difference. Next is use coupons and discount offers. Who doesn't like a good deal, right? You can add promotional badges to your listing and add showcasing any coupons or discount offers available to your product. Now, when customers spot these savings, they are more likely to click on your ad out of curiosity and to take advantage of the deal. Everyone loves to save money, so take advantage of this powerful incentive to attract the potential buyers. Last is improve your customer experience. Now businesses that deliver memorable purchasing experiences for their customers, whether uh, you know through shipping, packaging, email advertising, or even customer support are more likely to have greater conversion rates. They develop that trust and enthusiasm for their brand in a way that fosters loyalty and a loyal customer base is a convertible consumer base. Now everyone aims to sell more. That's the main goal of having an Amazon business. The good news is if you do things right, there are a lot of chances to boost your sales on Amazon. By following the strategies we discussed, you will likely see more sales, creating the momentum needed to grow your online presence in the market. Now interested in more personal life strategies to enhance your Amazon sales? Sarab is here to help. Our Amazon BBC experts can design custom advertising plans for your business. If you need help getting started on optimizing your Amazon BBC, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at sellerapp.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we will definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling!